Good thing I said that's 127. So it's that house over there. In Babylon, New York, a town on the Long Island coast about 40 minutes from New York City, a White House-backed program known as PACE has been creating jobs during the economic downturn. Since PACE started in 2008, contractors like Rich Manning have been making house calls to help retrofit homes and make them more energy efficient, which saves property owners money and helps Manning put more people to work. Okay, we're in the attic now, and I'm noticing that this has been uh, done, the house has been redone within the last couple of years. It's about 140 to 150 degrees up over here, as opposed to the room below, which is uh, probably about 80. So you get a huge temperature difference, and that's an indication that the, the ventilation up over here isn't very good. Babylon is one of several communities around the country taking advantage of PACE, which stands for Property Assessed Clean Energy, and has also been called Cash for Caulkers. PACE helps homeowners pay for energy improvements like solar panels and extra insulation, which can greatly reduce their energy bills. If I can save $150 eventually, you know, a month, that would be good. Well, it'll help me put, put all the rest of my bills, of course. <laughs> but the Federal Housing Finance Agency, or FHFA, has problems with the program. The agency says PACE poses a risk to mortgage lenders, and as a result, many towns have halted the energy audits and improvements. But not Babylon, which says it will fight back by suing FHFA to keep the PACE program. The small town of about 200,000 is gearing up for the fight of its life. It feels a little like a David versus Goliath fight. And here comes a program that actually helps Main Street Americans, homeowners, make their homes more energy efficient, more affordable, and helps create jobs and a federal agency, federal bureaucracy wants to wipe it out. It's, it's outrageous and uh, we're not going to stop our program. We're not going to put more people out of work in our community. FHFA has said it's concerned that the loans taken out by homeowners participating in PACE make mortgages weaker because if those homeowners were to default, they'd have to pay back the loans that covered retrofitting first. But folks in Babylon argue that the program saves homeowners money and there's little risk involved with small loans for home improvements. In this particular um, municipality, you know, we've got 50 to 70 people who directly owe their employment to the operation of this program. So for us, um, this is an existential threat. Uh, right behind us, we are doing a home energy uh, retrofit right now. Uh, one of many homes that we've done in this community so far. The value of this program is it helps to uh, bring up the property value and make their homes more energy efficient, which really helps out the town. It's going to be hard accessing it through the attic, okay. but we will be able to work from below, basically. Okay. There's a light right in the ceiling. Okay, good. So we can basically cut the hole right by the light. I can right. actually check the wires up there first. Uh, if this program were to get shut down, we could possibly lose up to three quarters of our staff. I'm nervous for my job, of course, because um, everything's going great, we've got a lot of work coming, um, we're able to hire people, and then, you know, the program's potentially going to have to be stopped, and uh, that made me nervous. Homeowners who've participated in the program give it rave reviews. Claudia Negron just got her home retrofitted. She says the program helped her afford the renovations, which are saving her money and increasing her home's value. Knowing that a house is as efficient as it can be, is really a selling point. It's really beneficial. This is my dream home. We've lived here for five years, and you know, it's it's, it's my house, so I want it to be as good as possible. People care about their homes. You know, they don't want to lose them. They want to make sure they're able to pay their pay their mortgage, and by doing that, they're reducing their energy bills. We're going to fight this because it's wrong, uh, and you know, there's too much at stake here. Babylon officials have prepared the paperwork and expect to sue FHFA to save the PACE program this week. Mary Plummer for On Earth Magazine.